to find out first of all what was it like just arranging your original song you got to work with blake and you also got to work with ross who's doing hits for people talk about that first of all it's a dream come true uh you know it yeah when when, when we heard the song and and to work with those two people it, it's it and they come at it from such different places you know blake comes at it from the artist standpoint and ross comes at it from you know what hits hits people's ears right you know like and uh and to be able to work with them and for them to kind of pull that out of us uh you know i remember talking with with ross from the beginning about like you know what key we want to do it in what's the feel and all this stuff and that dude no joke just i mean obviously we got the song you know whatever last week right we get him and he laid down the most beautiful track um the most beautiful arrangement it's everything you kind of hope for as an artist man to work with people like that who they I, i'm pretty sure that you know they forget more music than i'll ever know right like it's just yeah it's a dream come true wow and can you name just a couple songs maybe that you wanted to sing on the show that you didn't get a chance to do like your save me song or just a couple songs yeah, well, I mean, sure. My Save Me song was actually God Gave Me You by Blake Shelton. Oh, good. Uh, um, I, I've sung that song a hundred different times, weddings and all kinds of stuff. So, like, I had that song in my back pocket if I ever had to use it. And, uh, but, yeah, I mean, we honestly, we went through all kinds of stuff. It was all over the map, too. It was, like, old country, uh, a lot of, like, old soul music, which I love singing. You know, I got to do a little bit of that kind of tonight you know, with that, that Joe Cocker tune, but, um, yeah, I, my brain's a little fried right now to try to remember all of it, but, uh, it was, it was a lot of songs. That's we went great. back and forth quite a bit on the last, especially the last, uh, not last round. We kind of knew what we were doing last round, yeah. but the first round and, and, uh, the, the, what do they call it? The playoffs. The playoffs. Yeah. Uh, and then this round, uh, we went through a lot of, a lot of ideas, but, I'm really happy with what we've we've done on this show together. Perfect. You sound amazing. And lastly, want to find out what do you think you learned the most about yourself during this competition? To trust myself. Uh, I know that sounds maybe really simple or something, but uh, I, I came into this second guessing myself a lot. Um, but I've done this for a long time and uh, I, I think I have a, a really, I'm grounded in what I do and who I am. Uh, I'm not really searching for who I am anymore. I'm 38 years old, you know, <laughs> those days are behind me. Uh, but to trust it, you know, to trust my gut throughout this thing. Uh, and I second guess it after I make the decision, but yet everything I'm here, right? Like I, I made it to the finale and, um, and I had these beautiful moments tonight. And so I think in the end, it's, you know, trust my gut. Trust that uh, God has a hand on me. And, and uh, anything you do out of faith, uh, I think, is blessed. And it doesn't mean pass or fail or, you know, succeed or anything like that. It just means uh, I, I go to sleep very well knowing that I haven't gone beyond, beyond myself. I haven't. I didn't grow beyond my raisin, as my papa would say, you know, um, just being comfortable in my own skin and and, uh, and leaving it out there. Perfect. Good luck to you. Thank you, Belinda. Mm -hmm.